What should not be illegal? Weed. I don't even use it. But not legalizing and taxing the fuck out of it seems like such a huge missed opportunity that I don't understand why it hasn't been done everywhere yet. I'm for all drugs legal and taxing the fuck out of them as your same types of restrictions as alcohol. Can't drive while on them. Work can fire you for being high on the job. Can't buy more if you're too high. Can't show up for court high. Etc. In Arizona donkeys aren't allowed to sleep in bathtubs. I say let the donkeys do what they want. Sleeping in your car. Is there really a law against sleeping in your car? I always thought it was just loitering in public private. That you don't own. Property. Correct. You can't just park at the target and sleep for a week that's called dying. Angry dancing in an abandoned barn because the town preacher is a jerk. Killing people who wait till they get to the front of the queue before deciding what they want to order. Weed, gay marriage, and abortion. Drugs. There are much better ways to handle them. Addiction and the culture around them is your dueling. Escaping prison like in Germany they say it's human nature. LSD shrooms and DMT. Having sex with someone who doesn't live in the same house as you. A new law just brought in. In the UK. Wait what? They haven't specifically banned sex. It's just a consequence of the emergency lockdown restrictions we have in place which restrict people from generally socializing with people outside of their household. Which is an important distinction. Simple possession of personal use amounts of psychoactive substances. Open, concealed carry in certain states. Those laws don't stop anyone from taking a gun and using it to kill someone. They just leave the rest of us defenseless in case or trouble. Having to rely on people like the police. Looks like they'd rather kill you. We should bring back responsible gun ownership and firearms training. Turning them into the boogeyman isn't doing us any favors. We need to teach people. Not just ignore the problems. Gun crime is mostly about. Except for crime of passion cases and suicides. Proximity and poverty. Give dumb criminals enough of a reason and hey, we'll do gun crime. What if we focused our efforts on mental health organizations and proper training with firearms? What if we could remove some of the reasons people seem to be stuck in poverty? The power of protection needs to be returned to the people. We just need to do it in a responsible manner. Which I know, seems impossible these days. What if you didn't have guns just like the rest of the world? That's not an option I'm sorry. America is just different. We have had a right to weapons since our inception and it's not going to change anytime soon. The best thing to do would be to actually teach people the importance of firearm safety. I understand other places that people aren't allowed to have guns and that's really cool that it works for you guys. Americans don't like being told what we can and can't have. Slash. One on one fights to settle disputes. There should be a quarter state order that you can fill out to have a date and time to have a sanctioned fight in which the winner is decided. It's not illegal to have a mutually consented to fight as long as you don't damage private property of others or public property. Don't hurt anyone not participating. Aren't creating a particular risk of those occurring. And don't use firearms that's why things like boxing and MMA are around. There's no special exemption for them. There's just no law forbidding a consensual fight. Some places even fighting in public is a misdemeanor. Disturbing the peace by fighting. But in your own home? Go at it and shake hands when you're done. One-on-one -on -one duels should be a thing. Smooth bore pistols. Swords. Or whatever the participants choose. Could be a four feet purple dildo. Zapping lazy students with cattle prods. What school did you go to? Question mark. Teachers college. Lol. Abortions. I don't think abortions are 100% illegal anywhere in America. There's plenty of places where they're illegal though. Reddit isn't exclusive to the US. But they still shouldn't be illegal in general no matter where you are. If you're a non-violent felon and served your time you should keep your rights. The whole point of someone doing time is paying their debt to society. Why should you lose rights if you paid and are even? 
sleeping in cars, storage units, IDK, taking your child out of school when they have a mental illness. Also, taking your child out of school for the occasional family holiday, family field trip or whatever. The school my kids attend makes them fill out a request slip for things like vacations like it's a damn job, but kids don't have to ask and are automatically excused if it's harvest or hunting season. No questions asked. That's insane. We used to have permission slips but now it's just a hard no-no no matter what. One guy got fined for taking his three kids away to a family funeral. The funeral was in America. So a long distance flight to family they never see at a traumatic time. And he got fined for taking them there for more than then just the day of the funeral. A separate fine, every day, for each child. He tried to take it to the high courts but I don't think it got anywhere. It is absolutely ridiculous. I can understand it as, hey these kids will be absent these days and this is the reason, as opposed to just be back later. We went to visit family halfway across the country one year. And the only time that was convenient for all was during the year. The school said we couldn't take them out for the week because, well they didn't say. We just did anyways and they didn't do anything. Sometimes even kids need a break from school. That should absolutely be illegal to find someone for taking their kids out of school for a legitimate reason. That's flat out unacceptable. I'd be furious. Euthanasia. Open alcohol containers in my car. If my passengers want to drink while I drive, they should be allowed to. If you pull me over and think I'm drunk, breathalyze me. Lots of things that are already covered under other laws just makes the legal system more confusing. Like a law making lynching illegal is a popular one these days. Why make another law? Isn't murder and being an accomplice to murder already illegal? And isn't murder for racial reasons already extra? Lynching is even more extra. Weed, alcohol destroys many automatic weapons. Civilians should be able to own the same weapons as the military. If I can't be trusted with an ICBM, then really, what are we even doing here? I'm in. Not having a TV license should not be illegal. Is it illegal? Yep, in the UK you have to pay £13 a month to use a TV or you will be fine. I am from the UK. You don't need to pay for a TV license. If you're only watching catch up or the likes of Netflix and such you don't need one. You only need one if you're watching Freeview, BBC, ITV, etc. But Freeview is free to view and they don't have any way to check. The supposed TV detector vans are a load of shishastras tay. I've never paid in 25 years. It's a scam or just mark your address is not needed. Not that I watch old fashioned TV anyway. There's no way to be caught and you have all the right in the world to call them a cunt and slam the door in their face if they show up. They don't. Dueling. Drugs and prostitution. It's been proven that restricting these does more harm us your pirate radio. Polygamy. Maybe. There are a few issues with polygamy. First of all the legal issues of dividing spousal rights between multiple people. Second of all the fact that polygamous relationships tend to have very unequal power dynamics at the expense of women. I could be 100% wrong. So if I am, just let me know and I'll delete right away. In America, I think there are a lot of legal connections with marriage. Like money, tax, property stuff. So I think their mind set on that is that some people would get married to take advantage of it. Ain't nothing wrong with polygamy though. Getting married can also fuck you hard with additional taxes. It all depends on how much both make. I agree. I mean, traditional relationships can be dysfunctional as fuck so why do we judge polygamy so much? Because many, many poly relationships in the past have been because of a one-sided power dynamic. So are monogamous relationships. There are so many where only one person has power or the different elements of life are intensely unbalanced. Drinking in a public place. Questioning the reason for or lawfulness of arrest. On the spot. To the policeman's face. 
You should have the right everywhere, not just under local or state policy, to know why you're being arrested and to let someone know if you think they are crossing the line. You also should have the right to verification that the officer is legitimate and to know whether an officer has a warrant for something or under what law policy they don't need. 1. Licking doorknobs. Other planets are something else, man. Vigilante justice. Yeah, that worked out real well for Ahmad Arbery. There's a reason we don't allow random idiots to dole out whatever they consider justice. It's partially legal in the US. Making unregistered machine guns in my shed. Distilling alcohol for personal use. Having sex with me. I can't find the actual law but that is the only explanation for my unlucky streak. Many drugs. If we focus on decriminalizing and put our special attention towards reforming addicts, the benefits to society are much higher than just locking them up. Marijuana and voting when you're a previously convicted felon. Drugs prostitution and killing home invaders. Killing home invaders is already legal in most places. In the US at least. Unfortunately not in California. Here if they stub their toe while in your house they can take your house. California has a castle doctrine law. You can absolutely defend your home with deadly force if you fear for your safety. Of course you can. You will definitely be going to prison though. Unless you have cameras inside your house. California has lots of fucked up social justice laws. That's why I refuse to recognize it as a state. Not as bad as New York with their squatter rights. If you have property there anyone can just break in when you're not home and start living there. The cops can't make them leave and you need to hire a lawyer and go through a lengthy legal process. To get them out, being naked outside, speeding. It's my car and I paid for the whole speedometer not just half of it. LOL. Don't worry your car probably not capable anyways. Handling a salmon in suspicious circumstances. You don't know what the fuck I am gonna do with my salmon. Back off. You know what? If you're going to make a salmon into a Molotov, trust me, it doesn't work. Just stick to your vodka bottles. Also, they can't suppress an AK-47 either. Speaking from experience, crime. Not that it's necessarily illegal, but it should be widely accepted, encouraged to put bitchy customers in their places if you work a service, retail job, the customer is not always right, and that is a hill I am willing to die on. Red rum joke but actually I think that the right to bear arms is righteous in all countries. What's that? Type red rum backwards. Oh my, my my my, I thought you are referring to a drum of some sort and it sounded awesome in my mind but this thing is now making rounds in my mind. Are you a fan of Dexter? Don't watch it much. I have already seen the finale. Same sex marriage. There's nothing wrong with two guys or ladies getting married to each other cause they love each other. Let's get the government out of it entirely. Murdering rapists should be not just legal but encouraged. No matter if it's in the moment or 50 years later. They can rot. Same with pedos. How do you decide who is a rapist? Just take anyone's word for it without a trial. Like I can murder you and just say you rape me and it's all cool? Less than 10% of rape accusations are false and almost all false accusations were made because of other abuse. If a handful of non-rapist men have to die to get justice for rape victims, that's fine by me. Greater than if a handful of non-rapist men have to die to get justice for rape victims. That's fine by me. Firstly, you're a real piece of shit. Secondly, men aren't the only rapists. Finally, if it were a free ticket to get away with murder, that false accusation percentage would shoot way up. Problem is that you cannot allow this without stripping them of their due process rights. You could very easily kill the wrong guy. Handling salmon under suspicious circumstances. Jogging while black. Oh, wait. Sleeping in your car when you're drunk. I was at a bar one night and I was smart enough to know that I was too drunk to drive so I decided to sleep in my car. Next thing I know, I'm getting a DUI. 
Weed. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.